Good morning. I'm Mary Davis, the Assistant Facility Director at Trinity Fitness Riverside out of Jacksonville, Florida. Trinity Fitness is a faith-based, Christ-centered gym where all are welcome. Our mission is to get people healthy inside and out in every community across America. So at the age of 23, I became a police officer here in Jacksonville working for the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. And it was an absolutely fun time. I'd made it through the academy, I'd made it through the training program, and now I was out on my own. But there was still so much to learn. And I wanted to do it perfectly, but I found myself just day after day, it seemed to me like making mistakes, whether it was big mistakes or little mistakes. And I can just remember, you know, things like writing the wrong report. So you'd have to go back and find the person and rewrite it and tell them you wrote the wrong report, put the wrong information in a report, didn't have enough information in the report. Um, and I can remember this was one of the more embarrassing ones was getting lost going to a priority one call, which means you're supposed to get there really fast. And here I am lost. It was the days before GPS, but still it took way longer than it should have for me to get to that. And I even backed into a couple of things. So it was just seemingly ongoing. And I can remember my sergeant who I looked up to so much. He seemed to just know how to handle himself in every situation. He pulled me aside and he said, Mary, yes, you're making mistakes out here, but I want you to know that you're doing a fantastic job. And whatever mistake you make, every other officer has made those mistakes themselves, either those or other mistakes. And so he then proceeded to tell me two to three stories of mistakes that he had made as a young officer. And we both were just laughing, but it made such a huge impact on me. I realized that at least in my mind, I was isolating myself and thinking that I was the only one that had made these mistakes that all these other officers had it all squared away and they didn't struggle like I was struggling with learning things. And so, I realized that that wasn't the case, that making these mistakes didn't prevent me from being a police officer or even a good police officer. And I think how that can carry over to our relationship with Christ. Sometimes we can look around at other people and think, man, they've got it all squared away. They don't struggle with the things that I struggle with. They haven't made mistakes like I've made in the past or are still currently making. And in that, we can isolate ourselves and think that our mistakes, the things that we do can eliminate us from the love of Christ and the forgiveness of Christ and nothing could be further from the truth. It says in Romans 8 39, there is nothing. So you can't put your something in there and think that it eliminates you from the nothing. There is nothing in all creation that will ever be able to separate us from the love of Christ, which is ours through Christ Jesus, our Lord. So all we have to do is bring our something to him and he will forgive us. He already loves us. So in closing, I'm going to read a few people out of the Bible. You might be familiar with them. You might not. You might be more familiar with the things that were awesome that they did for God, but I'm going to read you a few of their mistakes. And if you aren't familiar with them, I challenge you to go and look at their stories and realize, yep, they made those mistakes too. So Abraham, the father of faith, lied. Elijah, one of the Bible's greatest prophets, was suicidal. Moses murdered someone. Gideon was consistently fearful and anxious. Samson broke his covenant with God. Rahab was a prostitute. The Samaritan woman was divorced many times over. Noah got drunk. Jacob lied over and over. Jonah rebelled against God and what he told him to do and was extremely prejudiced. Martha worried a lot. Zacchaeus stole tons of money from people and Paul killed Christians. So don't think that your something eliminates you from the love and forgiveness of Christ and then being used by him. So the battle cry today is, you're not the only one. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you so much for this beautiful day that you have given us. Um, I just pray that this message would resonate with us, that we would remember that, yes, we're going to make mistakes, but all we have to do is bring those mistakes to you. You already love us. You died on the cross for us. And you will forgive us when we bring it to you. Pray that we would have a great workout today. We ask all these things in your name. Amen. All right, guys. Hope you have a great day and an even better workout. Bye-bye.